Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Fashon Island is known for its small town feel, lush forests, and century-old strawberry festival. So why is this tiny island preparing for a disaster? We'll find out at the end of this video. But first, whether you are a property owner or renter, it's a good idea to know if fault lines run through your area. And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, what are fault lines? A fault is a fracture or a break between two blocks of rock. Fault lines allow the blocks to move relative to each other. Number two, how do fault lines cause earthquakes? When an earthquake occurs, the rock on one side of the fault line will slip suddenly with respect to the other. This is what produces the earthquake. Number three, how do I find the nearest fault line to my property? The best resource is the USGS, which has a map of recent earthquakes as well as fault lines. Number four, where do most earthquakes occur? About 80% of all earthquakes in the world occur along the Ring of Fire, which runs along the rim of the Pacific Ocean. In California, the Ring of Fire is particularly active because this is where the Pacific Plate meets the North American Plate. And the point where these two meet accommodates lateral motion between the plates, causing earthquakes and numerous faults. And number five. It may surprise you to learn that California is not the only earthquake hotspot in the U.S. Further up the Ring of Fire, you have the Pacific Northwest, but also New Madrid, Missouri, Salt Lake City, Hawaii, and Alaska. So yes, much of the U.S. is actually in an earthquake hotspot, which begs the question, what do you do if you're near a fault zone? This was the question that Joseph Ulotowski, a retired brigadier general, asked when he learned that his small town on Vashon Island, Washington, sits directly over the Cascadia subduction zone. Unlike the San Andreas Fault in Southern California, the Cascadia subduction zone is usually quiet. In fact, 45 years ago, no one knew it even existed. But now we do. We also heartbreakingly know that it is due to awaken soon. And when it does, the earthquake and subsequent tsunami it will produce are expected to be catastrophic. Imagine a quake the size of the one that hit Haiti in 2010 or Japan in 2011. Now imagine it striking Seattle and Portland. As FEMA's regional director says, our operating assumption is that everything west of Interstate 5 will be toast. For the residents of Vashon, this news was especially terrifying for the island can only be reached by ferry or helicopter. Which means that, in the wake of disaster, it will likely be hours or even days before outside aid reaches the island. Oh, and Vishon also doesn't have a hospital. So when Joseph Ulutovsky asked what the island would do if the Cascadia subduction zone moved, the other island residents took his question to heart. The result was Vashon Be Prepared, a non-profit, FEMA-sanctioned coalition of disaster preparedness organizations designed to coordinate all relevant agencies when an emergency hits. It also conducts drills to play out how the island will respond in the event of an earthquake. Vashon has become a shining example in the region for how to prepare for the worst, but that does not mean it is fully prepared. After all, there is very little you can really do to prepare for the kind of earthquake and subsequent tsunami that the Cascadia subduction zone could produce in the next 50 years. All of this is to say that it is a good idea to understand whether your property or home is within a fault zone and what the risks associated with that fault are. After all, like Vashon Island, you don't want to be caught unaware if the big one does indeed come. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about earthquakes? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com listings. 
Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.